Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I do things to the log. I was contacted to make a sign for a campsite where the sign is going to be a two-part sign. The top part is going to have a outdoorsy graphic and people's names. The bottom part is going to have the site number. I decided to use this log for the project. Uh, there is no particular reason behind it. It's just that I found this in a park. So it kind of blends in with the outdoor theme to it. So a log now is going to be used to display an outdoor location. I mentioned that the top part of the sign is going to have an outdoorsy graphic. Uh, that graphic would be CNC as opposed to laser burned uh, for the simple fact that anything that's laser burned will eventually fade away under the UV rays. But the CNC is going to give that 3D effect into the wood and that's going to give it a little bit more permanence. The whole process of taking an image and turning it into a CNC graphic is covered in another video. This particular video covers the process of me taking this log and turning it into the sign. So that means cutting it, sanding it, putting it under the CNC, and then finally putting the finishing oil. I will be using a few extra heavy machineries, so let's get to it. The biggest challenge to this project is cutting the wood on the bandsaw. As you can see, the wood is not exactly circle, but it's not exactly oval. And if I want to maximize the width of the wood, which is around here, and if I want to preserve the live edge that will give this rustic look to the sign, I need to make sure that the wood doesn't do this, i.e. freely rolling over. I can basically use my hands to hold the wood as I cut it, but then again, any kind of movement will cause the wood to bind against the saw blade that will basically overheat the blade, dull it, and that's not going to cut anymore. So I need to think of a jig that will help me hold the wood steady as I cut it on the bandsaw. The idea behind the jig comes from two different projects that I've done in the past. One of it is a table saw sled with this nice lovely guide rail that fits into the uh, bandsaw table. And some sort of a 90 degree jig. I don't really remember what I used it for, but I have it, so I might as well use it. So the idea is to take the 90 degree jig, put it on top of the sled, screw it in, then take my wood, uh, put it on top of the sled, and use some sort of straps to keep it all together. <laughs> Obviously, it's not going to be that straightforward. I have to make some adjustment, so I'll get to it. And the jig is done. The 90 degree angle brackets and the straps hold everything together firmly. As you can see, there is absolutely no movement. I will be using a set of three straps simply because when I cut, then I'm gonna be placing a strap and removing a strap at the same time. Uh, so for example, as I pass through the first half, I'm gonna add a strap right here at the beginning. 
uh, then remove the strap in the middle so that I can continue the cut and once I approach the end I will put back the strap in the middle and remove the one at the end that way I don't cut through my straps uh, in theory everything looks good so let's see how it is in practice And the first cut is done, it all went well. Uh, the only thing is that it took me about 10 minutes for this single cut, but it's much better to have all my fingers. And the wood is still in good shape uh, and the bandsaw is not broken. So I think it's a well-deserved uh, 10 minutes of cutting. As I'm cutting, I'm beginning to see certain patterns that can be formed. So there is book matching one way and there is book matching the other way. Pretty neat. Now let's set up the next cut. Now that the wood is cut, I'm beginning to see quite the interesting book matching patterns. Uh, let's have a look at these images. If you're not familiar with what book matching is, think about it as a mirror pattern. Uh, in woodworking, we take two consecutive pieces of cut wood and then we open them up in such a way that they mirror each other. You can do it either on the long side or on the short side. And as you can see, in my case, I've opted to do the long side because the sign is going to be uh, placed that way. And this would be a wrap for this video. Uh, make sure to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of my next video upload. Uh, also, make sure to follow me on all social media channels and I've put all the links in the description.